We all know how important it can be to improve our thoughts, but sometimes it's hard to know how do we even do that. Well, today we have an awesome class. It's by Katie Borland, and she's going to be talking about shopping for our thoughts and how each day we can choose and shop for those, those thoughts that are going to help us the most that day. You're not going to want to miss this class. Do you ever go shopping and bring a ton of things into the dressing room with you, but only leave with like mm, one thing? I do this all the time. When I'm walking around the store looking, I'm like, oh, that looks good. Oh, that might work. Oh, that's so pretty. I hope that looks good on me. And I bring them with me into the dressing room, but it isn't until I actually try them on that I know if they work for me or not. I often tell my clients that trying on new thoughts is like shopping for new clothes. My name's Katie Borland. I'm a life coach. I help women strengthen their three most important relationships, their relationship with God, themselves, and their families. And I'm going to teach you today how to shop for new thoughts, depending on what you have going on for the day. When you work out, you don't wear high heels. When you go camping, you're probably not gonna wear your favorite dress. And if you're going to a black tie event, girl, we know you're not gonna be wearing jeans and a t-shirt. We are very intentional about what we wear depending on what we're doing, but we're not usually as intentional about choosing what thoughts to wear depending on what we're doing. When it comes to being intentional about choosing thoughts that serve you, here's step one. You wanna think about what you're doing that day. Are you gonna be home with the kids? Are you gonna be working? Are you gonna be out running errands? What are you doing that day? Step two is to notice if the current clothes in your closet, or in other words, the current thoughts you're thinking about what you're doing that day are serving you. I'll give you an example of this as soon as I'm done telling you the third step. The third step is then to try on new thoughts until you find the one that resonates with you. Okay, I'm gonna share with you a real life example of how I did this just today. Step one, think about what you're doing that day. I knew that today I was going to be recording this video, but I also knew that I'm not in my home. We decided to come down to Florida for a couple of weeks, so I don't have my normal office set up. I have all of my kids here in this house with me today. And so step two is I wanna think about what thoughts I'm currently thinking, right? What clothes I'm currently wearing, what thoughts I'm currently thinking about that me making this video today. And a couple of my thoughts were, this is going to be so much harder, right? Because I was thinking, all the kids are in this house. Um, I don't have my normal setup. This is going to be so much harder. And then I thought about, how do I feel? Like when you try on clothes, how does this feel? Do I like this? Does this work for me? How do I feel when I think that this is going to be so much harder to make this video not being in my home? And I thought, oh man, that doesn't feel great at all. I feel a little more anxious. I feel a little more worried. And I asked myself, is that serving me in making this video? And it wasn't. So I went shopping for new thoughts. Now, when you shop for new thoughts, there are some thoughts, like when you're looking at a dress and you're like, oh, that's so beautiful, right? You just, oh, it looks so beautiful, but when you try it on, it doesn't really work for you. That's the same thing with thoughts. So I could try on the thought, oh, this is even better recording this not in my home, right? But as beautiful as that thought sounds, it doesn't fit on me right. It doesn't feel right for me. So I want you to be willing to consider to pull in some other clothes. Like, you know, when you bring in another dress that you're like, eh, I'll try that on. But sometimes it ends up being your favorite dress. I want you to do that with thoughts. Try on lots of different thoughts. The way that I like to try on different thoughts is adding the words, I'm willing to consider sometimes or I'm practicing. So instead of believing, oh, this is even better, I could think something like, I'm willing to consider that it's all going to work out. Or I'm practicing believing that it's all gonna be okay. Or sometimes I record videos, not from my home, and it works out just fine. When I try on those thoughts, ah, they feel so much better. But those actually weren't the thoughts that I thought today when I was trying to choose a new thought. The thought that I chose was, I'm going to figure it out. That resonated with me, right? That felt good for me. And because I believed the thought and it resonated with me that I'm going to figure it out, 
guess what? I figured it out. I had my husband take all the kids out of the house and I took my little phone and I tried different spots in the house where there was better lighting. I don't have a little tripod or anything. And guess what? I figured it out. And now instead of having an experience, something that I wanted to be so fun and exciting and, and having it be stressful and filled with anxiety, I'm having a great time making it. So every day, wake up and ask yourself, what do I have going on for today? Okay. What are the thoughts that I'm currently thinking about it? Do I like the way it feels when I think that thought? Is thinking that thought going to serve me in showing up the way I want to show up today? And if it doesn't, go shopping, sister. Try on lots of different shop, lots of different thoughts. And by doing that, you are going to have the experience that you want to have, no matter what you're doing, whether you're at home with the kids or you're out running errands or even going to really fun things like a party or getting together with friends. You can always shop for new thoughts and they're always free. Thank you so much, Katie, for that class. If you want to go follow Katie, we're going to link her in our stories today. She has an amazing account where she helps all of us figure out how we can improve our relationships with ourselves and with God and with those around us. We hope you guys will go give her a follow, check her out, and we'll link to all of that in our stories today. And as always, if you love this class, you found it helpful, please make sure to leave her a note in the comment section or share the post or like it. That really means a lot to us when you guys do that. Thanks for being here at 8 Minute Classes.